What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets. And today, we're going to be taking a closer look at Stellar Lumens. And if you are new to this channel, you like what you see in here, feel free to comment and subscribe and, and hit that bell for notifications for future content. That being said, today, I don't have a scripture for you guys as usual. Um, I just want to propose a question to you today before I get on with what we're going on with today. So what are you feeding your spirit? Are you What are you entertaining day to day? What is on your mind every single day besides you going to work, besides you just, just living a life, just existing? What are you feeding yourself spiritually? Are you feeding yourself anything that has to do with the word of God? Are you at all trying to uh, build your spirit instead of your pockets? Are you trying to build your your future instead of your uh, bank accounts? You guys, you got to understand that there's more to life than just finances and material things and owning and having things. You have to understand that our spirit needs to be fed too because every word that comes out of God's mouth, we have to abide by it and live by the word. So I, I know if you're not perfect. I'm not perfect by any means. I'm not saying this stuff to judge anybody. I'm saying this stuff to point out to you that there is something in today's society where we are programmed to learn how to have things instead of having what God has intended for us. Some things might sound good and all, but some things are not really worth the time and effort to have. So understand that you need to look at things at, in a spiritual eye instead of a fleshly perspective. Try to lean on God's understanding and not your own because our ways will get us destroyed in uh, example of that, think about people that go into drug dealing or people that go into being a stripper, being strippers and all that. I'm not bashing anybody because everybody has their own reasons why they do stuff. But at the end of the day, some people let go of their morals and will rather live a life of self-fulfillment than a fulfillment, uh, a life fulfilled by God. So that's the message I have for today. I hope you guys could receive that and don't take it as I'm trying to attack anybody because I myself have stuff that I like to like to work on and some things that I work on myself is I work on uh, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing but I work on uh, lust lustful thoughts because as a as a man you know we we like to uh, we like to you know jump in you know the girls DMs every now and again but I'm trying to change my life around because there's been things that I've that things that I've done that I've hurt people in the past of by my actions. So I'm practicing a life of celibacy. It is not easy by any means. <laughs> I look at women sometimes like, man, that girl look good. I want I want some of that. But I'm feeding my spirit every day, and I'm praying that I could overcome my lustful thoughts and overcome my mind at times we're all human we all think these things but no man or woman on this earth could say that they're perfect so that being said let's jump into the subscriber shout out it goes to anthony p thank you brother for you know checking out my channel and being a subscriber i appreciate you a lot i appreciate all my subscribers you guys are a blessing to me uh i just want to say thank you all and you know if you want to be get a shout out you know talk to me in the the comment section you know hit me up on twitter you know just let me know what's going on with you in your day-to-day -day life or just you know something simple all right uh that being said let's jump into this technical analysis of stellar lumens this <laughs> i really don't want to look at this chart but this chart is atrocious um Stellar Lumens is has been on a crazy, you know, downtrend. It has a big gap that needs to be filled, and I I'm expecting prices to move lower. Just based off this alone, on the weekly time frame, trend is down here, which is this green line. 
you follow it anything that's underneath the negative 80 or negative 70 area is considered a bearish trend you see it's been down here it's staying down here uh it's moved actually back into uh going bearish and if we look at it on the daily time frame it's very bearish so what we could expect from the signal line is a break down past this zero line and go expecting prices to move even lower looking at it on the four hour time frame let's see it's it, you see that it made some moves to the upside let's look at the chart as you see here it did move up but it's the market is still in a range as you could see on the daily in the four hour as well so looking back at the rci uh signal is pushing price down uh, so i'm expecting the trend to start reversing to the downside i wouldn't take any selling opportunities until this green line is uh, underneath the zero line um and we get some sort of bounce off uh the bounce off of these areas here as you can see um not just that's just looking at this alone because you honestly you could probably just trade this by itself or looking at it but looking at the candles too as well because you can't just go off of signal uh indicators because that's stupid but looking at where the uh, market's at if we go ahead and take ichimoku off uh let's go ahead and do that uh let's, take the fractal off. let's go ahead and do this bam so if we go ahead and take Ichimoku off, you could clearly see that market's been ranging in between this, this, these prices here. Um, it's safe to say that price may want to move even lower. Uh, once it gets past this area here, you see that there's some support here. Um, so let's go ahead and mark this off. Let's go right there. It's the halfway point. Um, I'm expecting as soon as this line br uh, price breaks and closes, we'll be seeing it come down even lower. Uh, I would like to play this on a smaller time frame to get a more accurate entry. Um, I say this long term that this price uh, that this currency is going to go down. Like I said, this thing is atrocious to look at. You see how much it gaps. It's not really worth trading it honestly investing in it possibly later on when it, you know cryptos start really getting regulated and pushed um just overall the crypto market is going down uh, i expect it to eventually get back into this zone and once it breaks past this red box this red zone here uh prices will be tumbling and looking at it with ichimoku let's go ahead and throw it back on uh, we already see signs of price wanting to come down lower uh right now like i said we are at a support in this area right here is before i even drew up before i even put ichimoku on you could see that this flat cloud area is support um i'm expecting some type of range and then a break to the downside or maybe even a pullback to the upside first before the mighty drop but this pair it, it it, I don't think it has a big future as far as uh, the short, you know, short term. Long term, yes, but short, short term, this pair is going to drop for quite a while. Um, I'm, I'm want to see what happens in the next few months with this. Like once we get to March, then I'll have a better idea of where this is really going. Let's take a look on the monthly time frame. Even the monthly time frame, you just see nothing but down action here. Boom. So yeah, this this thing is dropping. This <laughs> no, nothing else could save this thing right now. Uh, this market is just going straight down. I'm, there's not much that could be said about it. You see that if we were just trading without Ichimoku with this. Uh, you could see that, you know, price kind of stalled here and it's making this another push to the downside. Uh, once this month candle closes, which will be in the next two days, uh, once this candle closes, uh, I'm expecting the price to drop even lower. 
and if we go back to the daily or actually the weekly let's make this line visible let's make all this visible here okay that's good I just don't see it happening with this pair. Uh, this pair has been weak for quite a long time, so that's um, that's what I'm expecting. So let's go back to the monthly. So yeah, back in this region, it's pretty clear this gap here has to be closed or filled. So expecting prices to come down lower. Um, this is long term. I'm not saying that it's not a bad. I'm not saying it's a bad project. I'm saying from what the charts are reading and showing us, price wants to move lower uh, to this zone here, long term, uh, around the short term. Well, if you depending on what's short term or long term to you, uh, I'm saying this is the short term because three months we could easily get some candles like this but to the downside so in crypto you never know what to expect but in this type of until i get some more data uh, the next couple days weeks i'm very bearish on this to the downside that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this technical analysis god bless you guys stay tuned for the next and comment your thoughts on what you think on this video all right peace